to Wanderings of an Artist, The Journey of an Artistic Mind. In this video, I'll be showing how I made custom print fabric that I use for making masks. First step is deciding on what design you're going to use for this. The design I'm going to be using is autumn leaves, which I'm going to be in a way of reds and golds and greens. And the other design I'm going to be using is a, a water pumpkin. Now these designs I made them up myself for my daughters because they had a special day at school a while back. And they wanted me to have a special mask to wear for it. Now, the, I'm going to start out with the pumpkin, and the materials I'm going to be using for both the masks is some white cotton sheeting that I have tea stained. Now, I tea stained the fabric because when I was testing this out before I started on the project, main project itself. I found that the colors didn't really stand out the way I wanted them to and look the way I wanted them to on just a plain white fabric. So I went ahead and I tea stained it. And how you tea stain a piece of fabric is you just brew up some tea, it's just straight like orange peel, or you can even use different kinds of tea and you'll get different, different um, color stains in your fabric. And then you just brew it Give it as strong as you want it to be, and then you just stick the fabric in there for a while and just let it sit. And then you take it out, rinse it out, and let it dry. Now, here I'm not using my light box this time because the fabric is thin enough that I can see the design through the fabric itself. Now, for following this end, what I'm going to be using are alcohol ink markers. And because I'll be using alcohol ink markers, I decided to use a pencil to trace this out onto the fabric. Because if I used a water-soluble fabric marker, then as I'm laying the color down with the alcohol ink markers, the lines from the fabric marker would just disappear. And I want to be able to see my outline because once everything is all dry, I'm going to be going back with a fine line sharpie and outlining everything. So I need to be able to see the outlines of the original design to be able to outline everything accurately. Now that I have the designs transferred over to the fabric, I'm going to start with the coloring. Now the materials I'm using for this are some alcohol ink markers that I have, and some rubbing alcohol, a paintbrush to spread the rubbing alcohol around with, and I'm also using a piece of glass that I had from one of my stained glass projects. And I'm laying the fabric over the top of that because I want this to have a really nice watercolor look to it. And to get that look, you have to have the piece of fabric over the top of something smooth and hard that's not going to absorb the ink so that the ink sits on top of the surface surface of it and just spreads really nicely in the fabric.
now that I have everything colored in, I'm going to come in with my fine line Sharpie and give everything just a little bit more definition and shape. Now that I have uh, both of them finished, here with the autumn leaves, I really, really like how it turned out. When I first started doing this, I was kind of like, this is going to be a hot mess. But as it progressed along, it turned out a lot better than I initially thought it was going to turn out. Now that I've done it, I'm going to do it again. And maybe do something a little bit different, maybe do something more winter themed this time around. But I just, I really like how it turned out and how it ended up looking as a mask as well, because it ended up looking like a really high-end piece of fabric that you go to the fabric store and pay like $20 a meter for. Now here are the masks all finished. Here's the one with the pumpkin. I really, really liked how it looked, and my daughter really, really loved this one. And for the inside lining piece, I just went ahead and used some of the extra tea stained uh, cotton sheeting that I had made, because I made a big piece and I didn't use all of it, so I just went ahead and used it for the lining for both of them. Now, out of the two, I really, really like this autumn leaves one, maybe the most out of both of them. Thank you for watching. Please hit like and subscribe and click on all notifications so that we can go wandering together again. Now, if you like these uh, pictures that I've used at the beginning and end of my video, they were taken by my sister who is a professional nature photographer. And I will leave a link in the description of where you can get either a digital print of these pictures and others or you can get them as prints on canvas. And I'll also leave a link to her Instagram as well.